I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. For today, we have two things to do in mind, uh, both of which involve Good Neighbor, in that we are going to seek out a beer robot, and we are going to uh, fudge. What was the other one? Oh right, so we were going to uh, to seek out uh, um, uh, a beer robot, and we're going to uh, go and do a uh, a quest that involves uh, something with the mayor. So here we are um, in town. Heard what you did. Save that Rex Goodman from the super mutants. Yes, not everyone appreciates the Bard. Am I right? Interesting. Yeah, you, so you do end up getting a certain amount of uh, recognition for some of the quests that you do in the game. And occasionally randers, uh, random passersby will comment on these things. Hey there. You're new around Good Neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? Um, it's, it's changed. It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before. Well, Good Neighbor's definitely come up in it. Name's Rufus. I do repair. I'm usually here or uh -huh. looking for parts. I also might have a job. All right. I could use work. Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail. But uh -huh. Found this hollow tape while doing repair. Thing is. It was never delivered. Well, with all the bomb, which is where you come in. I assume this is a pain. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? Think you can get a hold of that? This isn't exactly the safe. Great. So, brewing machine is it? When you leave town, make your way around. Mm -hmm. So the weird, weird thing with this is that it doesn't really make sense that he would be able to just ask around and find out that something from 200 years in the past is still intact. Like, that's a weird thing to just imagine that, like, hey, people would know. But, oh well. I mean, I suppose maybe the most plausible answer for, th what, for that would be rail. that there's some kind of a registry. So, we do have another thing in mind over here. And, uh... Hey, you. Looking for work? Yeah, when can I start? Well, uh, if you don't mind... Right? I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. This is just a bad deal. Ah, uh, you're killing me here. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. So this... We basically just started this quest to give us the quest marker. Uh, to, uh, basically to remind us that we're doing the quest. And now we're going to head out. And uh, I actually don't have a lot of experience walking out the front door. A good neighbor, usually I fast travel from here. Adhesive is rare and is used to create a lot of money. That's how it's done, boys. Oh, interesting. So, what the hell was that? I don't know if I've ever been up inside that building. I'm not sure if it's easily reached or not. Anyhow, so actually, we're going to turn that off now, and looks like the direction we want to go. We need to loop around here. I hear something. Hi, hello there. Find anything useful on him? Pretty cool when you can take someone out with uh, with one shot. Get 
the feeling generally the game likes to put lots of duels where we have graveyards. Even though it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. We're but yeah, here you can see how how, uh, how nice the crowd control properties of this weapon are. And then it just arced between all my foes and got them all. Some of this is just to preserve the expectation that uh, foes should have, that they should not keep on looking forever because sometimes prey will show up, or well, sometimes opponents will show up and then disappear. Oh, so there's a gunner nearby and there's a super mutant nearby. Be wonderful if we, again if we could get, uh, get the mutants Nothing. fighting the gunners, but that sound, what is it? It's so unusual that those groups would coexist in such tight proximity. That is one annoying quirk of the game, in that it, is, it doesn't use quite the same algorithms to, uh, to let you see something as it does to tell if you have a clear path to something. That's one counter down. like if 
flamethrower. I'm guessing that... Oh, and it looks like it happened. The uh, gunners and the super mutants are actually at battle right now. And it looks like the super mutants might be winning. Too much for me. So you can see why I had such a tough time earlier in, in the game when I didn't really have much of the armor. I'm not a whole lot better off right now. Just the, the area right around Good Neighbor, it is not worth it to me. There's a legendary. Somewhere in there. Okay, that is probably it is worth getting excited over this. Big quest uh, with the big dig quest marker. And I think that might have been the area with the scary bear nearby. I'm not going to hang out there too long. Let's eat a little bit more though to get our health up further. So we don't want surprises. Okay, this is that gunner base that we were at earlier. Uh, much, much earlier. base. Let's just give them a little gift and run off. No, I can hide. Okay. Southeast we go. 
might be where we were before. Let's do a quick save. Let's see. That's an interesting perspective. I, I guess it would. Oh, book uh, flies. I wonder if we can get those to go after the raiders. I suppose in a world where you have to deal with um, with auto turrets like this, it might make sense to treat them and threats from them as being a whole lot like as being a whole lot like uh, a regular human pose. And, to, and so the, the, the phrase, uh, like talking about it as a confirmed kill, it's not exactly correct because they're not alive, but if they are effectively units, that's what we said. Actually, I think it's the same combat armor that we had before. I swear I heard something. There is that angry Brahmin. We somehow pissed it off. It is now a Brahmin that is hostile to us. I'm not sure. Yeah, this whole area is just a whole uh, bundle of fun. enough 
to tell the difference. Using terrain to your advantage. Uh, it, it's surprising that it's possible in Fallout. Oh, there just are animals. Can you hear that? Oh, no, you don't! Quite sure. Oh, somebody is there. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, as a settlement, it's not that great, but it, is, it appears to be something more than a settlement. And that these, this area the, uh, the raiders have set up, it's an extended area of, of control. Holding off a little bit more on actually uh, aiming for uh, aiming for the head because I seem to be getting really really bad aim. So so far, when I've been analyzing, oh goodness, what is that? Is that that is a series of robots? Okay, we're gonna save and we're gonna go after those robots, but. Fairly high risk. Another one, I guess there is. Let's go get it. Interesting, that seemed to have a little bit of a problem. One of the downsides of it used to be in, in before before they they patched it that in Fallout your uh, you could hack at a fairly large distance, which was kind of cool. It's pretty handy. I think a big part of our, our fault here was just that we chose a really inappropriate weapon.
like the robots have gotten... Huh. Yeah, I think we've really screwed up this propulsion system if it was doing that. Anyhow, so we're now actually free to press towards our goal. Can I fall that far? Yes, good. It would have been really annoying to have fallen off and then died. That was too far to fall. Okay, so this is where um, what we've been looking for. A uh, tap house. Charge up our weapon because it's this is well, an extremely dangerous part of town. Here. placement of that stuff was pre or post war. Because adhesive is actually probably still a good thing to have in the lab. some I think that bartenders probably there's a lot more interesting trickery to that profession and it might not even still register as trickery than anybody realizes like you can see up there there's just some cool additional storage just had to play hero huh Get some aluminium charge up there you are He was the one who miscalculated, but he didn't get a fair amount of damage, so I'm, it's a certain amount of respect for that. So what do we have up here? We have raiders who control this place. Burnt lifestyle. I wasn't aware burnt is a lifestyle. think of being burnt as an unfortunate event. Uh, we get a key. Also, it looks like... Hmm. Oh, I did not know this. Oh, they had the key to it, and yet they were trying to open it with the screwdriver. Maybe they were learning how to pick locks. 
see this. You could imagine this as being like a classic, uh, classic bar. You can kind of imagine a place like this existing in Boston today, probably. This settler who seen better days. He is, was caught somehow, and kidnapped, and probably tortured here. Safety off. I think we have company. I totally imagine this being a real place um, b uh, before the war. Not set up that differently. Would have been nice. Probably would have been popular. Sweet. Don't make me poke through all this garbage. I wonder how often in uh, in real life bars really have popularity not because of how well they're run so much as uh, where they are and what they look like. This looks like a uh, tin den. So in the past, in some of the places that I've lived, I've used doors. Uh, to make desks, since it's actually a pretty decent way to do uh, do things. You typically want a door that doesn't have um, doesn't have a doorknob or any of the other like door stuff. It, but just something that would have been intended to be used as a door, uh, but not fully cut. Those end up be uh, being pretty nice. Um, Pretty nice, uh, top of the Oh, hello. That's where I heard something. Pretty sure we're not alone. Oh, no, you don't! One more rat left. Okay, I think we've got it. Test control is complete. We have a Patrick's terminal. And that tells the, the tale of the person who hey. tinkered and created it. And so he was apparently running into all sorts of intellectual property issues other fun stuff. Well, so he just intended to deliver out or it's dark as hell in here. He intended to Come deliver on, it when it. things uh, chilled out. And so here we are. Chainsaw. Nope, nothing in common. H A I N S A W. Attached is plausible. Sweet. Beginning startup sequence. Unknown hardware detected. Auxiliary BIOS detected. Flashing operational subroutines. Micro brewers operational. Internal bottling mechanism operational. Output dispensary operational. Detecting brewing subroutines. Hollow tape detected for women. Fail ale. Start up sequence complete. Dispensing sample for approval by technician. How would you describe the testing sample provided? 
cold and refreshing. Very good. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Change of plans. I've decided to keep you myself. Understood. Are you ready to set the parameter oh. at this time? I'm ready. Very good. Please select the default oh. location. So we're going to send um, Buddy to Red Rocket. Because it would be parameter accepted. Kind of nice Beginning for my settlers transit. to have something to drink. And uh, I actually have a I have a use for uh, Buddy as well. Basically, if you put beverages into Buddy, then Buddy will uh, Buddy ends up being uh, useful in improving them for you just by chilling them. So this is what it's like just outside. You can see this must have happened much, much more recently than the war or it would have decayed away by now. So you can imagine that probably the, uh, the river must flood occasionally. Actually, that would kind of explain a lot of other things too because you would expect just things to have chilled out and dried down by now. And as they haven't, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good sign that that the level of water in in the area is by no means constant. I think that's all that we're going to do um, do today. We'll, uh, we'll leave doing the um, probably the big dig quest line for uh, uh, probably for the next uh, let's play. So. I will return to Red Rocket. I did want to show one thing that I did before uh, or between the last video and this one. And that I mentioned that I, I did the, um, the the Mechanist quest line in order to set up a trading network. And I have done that. I have linked all of the settlements I have that actually have people in them. Oberlin, Grey Garden. I haven't yet put anyone in Starlight but Red Rocket and Abernathy, they're linked together by a series of trading robots, which are all housed out of the Mechanist Slayer, and they just visit all the settlements and uh, deliver and pick up goods. Let's quickly drop off stuff, and then make sure that we're uh, have no visitors. Just blow flies. Nothing exciting. Okay. So, um, so that's the end of this Let's Play. Uh, because I really haven't done anything else uh, here. And, uh, and I'm definitely going to go after the Big Dig uh, next. Bye.